This is the first one we did in the little white tank and it had uh, had the wrong kind of dams. It was the wrong setup. I haven't showed you the same tank twice, right? This is a light switch covers. And they're pretty much a one-off item for now for me. And on this particular tank here, what I've noticed is uh, when you set your film in there and you come in with your air, it tends to it tends to want to blow the film all over. So you got to contain your film in one spot. And if we're going to be doing a lot of them, a lot of the same part, we're going to want that part. We want to want to be able to line that part up the same time every time, kind of like a printing press. And what I've done here is I've taken an old drafting table dealio and I can kind of set, set where I want it to be on the handle. Now the handle here has a real long throw. From here, way over to here, only moves that so much at a certain rate and a certain speed. And I want to be able to rehearse where that's going to hit and the angle it's going to hit so I can replicate it time and time and time. So uh, essentially it would look like this. Here we go. Set the part in the clip. Make sure it's going to hit in the right place first, at the right angle. Get this up and out of the way. Put the film in, right side down. Just about a teaspoon. If that. Watch our timer. And we don't gotta worry too much. We don't gotta worry too much because all we're gonna do next is throw this handle when the time is right. We're just gonna push this handle all the way over. And in it goes. Then we can figure out how we're going to deal with this. And pull that right out like that. Take it to the rinse station and let it dry. I like that. Grab the next one on its hook, line her up, let's pretend this is another part, aim for that same square, pull it up out of the way, put our film, do the duty with the air and the activator. And the same thing happens again. In the same spot, at the same speed. I'm doing the right thing. I got something out in the booth I'm painting. But between coats, I'm in here having fun. Highly recommend, if your project is boring you, get another project going too, man. Get a couple projects going, a fun one for yourself, and the ones that you have to do. YouTube Garage, that's what did this. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Oh, gotta show you a new one. There's another problem they have with doing cylindrical objects. I'm gonna give it out there now. Put your film in that water. and your part inside this cone and what will happen is 
This will bring the skin of the water in closer to your part as you go down. I'll do this on the robotic arm. That's, for an that's another experiment on a different object. Right now, we got an order of uh, light switch covers and electrical covers to kick out. We don't want to waste material. We want to hit it at the same angle every time. Boom. Never the same dip tank twice. So I was fooling around between uh, coats of paint. And I'm learning to get the conditions, all the conditions, temperature, water level, speed, angle, and time. Let's play the game. I don't know what we'll call the video. My little garage, hydrographic, robot arm or something. Side of jet, gonna take us out tonight. The winner is, <laughs> they're all winners, come on. Who is it? We've seen this before. Dave's custom paint and body, my buddy Dave over there, and I know he's watching my hydrographic slow SRT, our runner up. Do the right thing, do something new. It's always fun. I gotta get back out there and do the real the real job, but uh, just sharing what's going on with the hydrographics. Cause I got I got big order here. Maybe we can get a maybe we can get our gun to sit in there and go down. Hmm. Or maybe just parts of the gun, you know? Little small items. I'm really interested in doing that. The cone. The cone dam. Alright. I'm going to keep them coming. Always something new. Always something different. And I'll get back with you.